Hello everyone and welcome to episode 22 of Terraria 1.4 Journey Mode Playthrough. We are here back in the Hallowed Arena, and I'm going to buff up because that will activate my Gavic Potion, and we're going to go ahead and take down Skeletron Prime, or attempt to anyway. I have a full set of Hallowed Armor, I looked up the differences between the Ancient One and the regular one, and it seems it's just in appearance. I've also gone ahead and crafted the Hallowed Repeater, and I've gone ahead and crafted the Mega Shark as well from the uh, souls from the Destroyer in the previous episode. So without further ado, I'm just going to go ahead and get straight in there. I have Ikor Bullets, uh, which I got from my Crimson World. Uh, I might turn the minimap off. And, uh, unfortunately, the, the Hallowed Arena seems great in size and everything, but the uh, enemies that spawn in the Hallowed kind of get a bit annoying, so. Uh, I'm not sure how it'll go, but we'll see. I'm gonna go ahead and try and take down... Uh, well, Expert Mode Skeletron works similar to regular Skeletron. We have to try and take down the arms as soon as possible, otherwise uh, it will deal a lot of damage to you, so... I can't really focus particularly too much, but uh, whenever I can, I'm gonna try and aim for the arms and go ahead. So yeah, this will mostly be an endurance fight. I want to try and take down the laser arm first, honestly, because that's the one that I can't really dodge too well. But uh, it's honestly quite hard to see what the hell I'm shooting at when I hit so far away. So and uh, obviously not get caught in his spinning attack, which actually seems to go quite quick. So I might need to uh, fly over that rather than try to outrun it. So we got a heal in now. So heal up. Uh, just keep shooting. It seems actually to deal like these amount of damage to his head, even though it's supposed to take reduced damage. So the laser arm seems to be somewhat towards half health, which is pure. Uh, I don't actually know if we'll have enough bullets for this even, but uh, you know what I mean. So, okay, so hope that I want arm as much as possible. That's that and the saw one are probably the ones that are most awkward to dodge. The bombs will just fall straight through the platform, so they're not any massive deal. And the other one... The saw is mainly just if I run into it. And, but yeah. This seems to be going okay. I don't think I should have any, too major, any major difficulties. My least favourite out of the mechanical bosses is the twins, which we'll be doing next. And that's when I'm going to have to figure out how I'm going to kill them. As, uh, I might have to make a... Uh, Long Sky Arena, for example. Yeah, or just long runway to be able to outrun them. So, yeah, we're doing okay. I can't tell where the arm is at. The laser one seems to be mostly dead. I'm actually just gonna heal, just not particularly that we needed it, but just so the cooldown can be going as we go. So, we've almost got the laser arm anyway, which is good. Try and focus on the best I can. Area. So it seems like we should be fine for bullets. Um, I think is that none of the laser arms still there. Okay, so we got the laser arm, but one arm down, which is the one that I personally think deals the most damage to me. So uh, Skeletron should have slightly reduced defense now. Uh, I will probably should try and take down the rest of the arms, but I don't know how. Easy that will be to focus. So I'm just gonna keep on shooting and see how we get on. I think, uh, similar to the regular Skeletron, he has reduced defense when he's doing his spinning attack, which is also as easy to hit him because he's, well, aiming right at you. So, yeah, this should be no issues if uh, we have. Uh, I'm probably not gonna take down the twins, attempt to take down the twins this episode simply because I don't have an arena for them, and I think the twins is probably the one that you mostly need an arena for. A Skeletron, you can just. Skeletron Prime, it seems like you can just use any old arena for, and you're mostly fine. Destroyer, as long as you have plenty of mobility, you should be okay. Like, open area. I don't know if his health bar is just for his head or it encompasses everything. To be honest, so I think it's probably everything because his head seems like it has lower HP than the health bar does. Uh, I'm not sure, it might not be the case. Oops, shit. Uh, so arm is almost dead, but honestly, his head is almost dead. So I might just go ahead and finish off his head. That health bar, I think, is for his head. 
That was very close. <laughs> we got caught in his spinny attack for the- Oh, the, the killed me the first time we bought Skeletron, so he obviously wanted his revenge there. That was uh, a bit too close for comfort. <laughs> oh, it really stunlocks you in that. Even with, even with the uh, shield, the obsidian shield, it still gets you stuck there. Uh, so I'm just going to clear out the inventory space so we know what we're dealing with here. So we have the relic here, obviously. Which I am going to go ahead and duplicate, like I do. Uh, let's see, where are my relics? Where are my relics? There they are. So, Skeletron, Skeletron Prime. Uh, yep, so I did say in the previous episode that I would extend this room a bit. I haven't gotten around to that yet. But as you can see, there's one block left over here, which I want to go ahead and kind of change a bit. Uh, the Witch Doctor was slain already. No, don't kill my Steve Booker, she's new. <laughs> she just spawned in after the previous mech boss. So yeah, we have Skeletron Prime Relic, which is kind of just a bit more angry version of the regular Skeletron one, to be honest. Again, similar to Destroyer, like I said, it could have had probes or whatever, it could have, like, a couple arms showing out, I think, would have been... Would have been cool, but anyway, we have the treasure bag here, which we have, obviously, Hellebores, which don't care about. And we have the second of the, uh, pieces of this, so for those of you who don't know, if I just go ahead and use the guide here. You combine the three of these, which you get from the three mech bosses, into a mechanical cart. And we also have Souls of Fright. What can we craft with these? The Drax, obviously, once we take down the three. Craft a flamethrower. The Avengers Emblem, which I need all three for again. And the Naughty Presence, which I can't get until we get Ectoplasm. So there's honestly, other than the flamethrower, there's nothing we can craft right now. And I personally don't think the flamethrower is really that great. So I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate those anyway, and now we have taken down two out of the three mech bosses. So obviously the twins would be, is the last one of those, and um, I think the this one strategy for the twins would be to either use gravitation potions or to make a really long arena. Personally I will probably make the, go for the arena, and um, hopefully we take him down, like I said he's my, they're my most. And, least favorite mech bosses, but uh, I don't think we should have any problem taking them down with the setup we have. The Mega Shark seems to deal a very nice amount of damage with the Acor Bullets, and we also have the Hallowed Repeater, and the Daedalus Stormbow, which we need two with Holy Arrows, which deal the same damage as the Acor Bullets, actually, now that I look at it. And uh, after that, we the jungle should start growing restless, so we should start, uh, we should then be able to move on to Plantera. And after Pantera is the other new 1.4 boss, the Empress of Light, I believe she's called, which I am honestly looking forward to taking on a lot. I have said in previous episodes that I want to attempt to get the Terra Prisma by defeating her in the daytime, which she insta-kills you. However, I won't be doing that until I have more in-game gear, so I will be going, I will be just defeating her regularly during the nighttime and then going back to her later on once we have a bit better gear. Because uh, I think that'd be fair enough, and this, uh, I, obviously, I could add more of a challenge by trying to do it at the time, but I don't see there's much point in where we are at the moment. Um, so for those of you curious to how I grinded out the Mega Shark, actually, uh, you may have noticed in one of the very oops, that's the wrong teleport. Item. You may have noticed in one of the really old, one of the really. Uh, one of the first episodes of this series, I found a shark statue, actually. So, uh, I went ahead and hooked that up in the ocean here. Uh, this did have air in it. I don't know why this is filled up with water. But I basically have a switch here, which I have to uh, hook up with this statue to create uh, spawn sharks. So that's how I grinded up the shark fins to craft the big shark here. Uh, which I may use at some point in the future if we ever want to get more shark fins for anything. Um, but yeah, it would have been kind of cool to get the Skeletron Prime pet, because we did have the Skeletron pet with us for quite a while, so it would have been kind of cool to upgrade that to the Skeletron Prime one. Uh, but the Destroyer one's pretty cool, to be honest, and uh, honestly, I kept mistaking the Skeletron pet for an enemy. Uh, the Destroyer one kind of seems a bit more distinct, as in you sort of know it's a pet, so uh, I don't think there's too much issue there. Um, but yeah. Uh, we're going to end the episode here, and uh, next episode we'll try and take down the twins. Uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed. If you have, feel free to leave a like, comment, and uh, subscribe if you want to see more of the series. 
Uh, I'm looking forward to getting into the new boss of uh, 1.4, so that's something that uh, should be coming up hopefully just in a couple of episodes, or soon enough anyway. So yeah, uh, I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye!